Hello, it's time to catch up with Alexandra Rodriguez and I'm gonna split the two vlogs under one shilling video into two. Let's go. Wait. I'm watching on YouTube because the mirror site is giving all kinds of problems. Like, a lot of problems. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. Oh, hello. Do you want to join me? Bruno is here for the vibes. You want to tell them about Rocket Money? By using Rocket Money, we can have more money to buy you more treats. So oh, okay. Advert. <laughs> Now let's get into the vlog. Hello, and welcome to Crafting with Alex. No one click off. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but I am going to do something risky in this vlog today. I have faith in myself, I think. It is a super dreary, rainy day, and I figured we could do some arts and crafts today. And this is actually really not an arts and crafts at all, but I do think I am going to start my new paint by numbers. Um, but I have been really wanting to laminate my ultrasound and I was looking into it and I did not realize that you can literally get like self-sealing lamination sheets at the store. I'm a little scared to mess this up because <laughs> these are like so precious but why not make a copy of it and try that first? I, um, I'm just gonna like read the directions and follow it. It had good reviews so you know, as you guys know, I've had these taped on our refrigerator and I really want to like preserve them and have them forever. Like this is such a great little keepsake um, from when he was so small. Based off of the reviews that I read, it's just like super important to make sure you get all the air bubbles out. So that's the main goal. So here's what they look like here. Fast, easy lamination, peel, place, and smooth. I mean, sounds simple enough, right? Because if this works, this would be such a great thing to be able to do from home without like a whole machine. Because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes if I want to like laminate something, I will literally just use like thick, clear packing tape on each side. And it like gives the same effect in my humble opinion. I hope there's what? more directions than this. I hope. Remove the top strip first, place the front side of the object on a flat surface, stick the top adhesive part of the laminating sheet gently on the object, peel off the liner a little bit, and then slowly roll the adhesive side of the laminating sheet over the object, press the air out till the transparent film completely covers. Wow, look at that overlining. That looks so bad. I think at the bottom as well. It looks so bad, you can always tell the object did you retain any of that because I and her lips are big enough without it honestly she doesn't need to do it need in quotation marks because I don't think anyone really needs to do it I didn't remove this top strip first okay fair enough fair enough goes first step one complete front side of the object <laughs> when is allergy season gonna why does she always leave her disgusting sneezes in Come on now. I'm just waiting for the day she's gonna sneeze right into the camera and we're gonna have snot droplets on it. Be over, because I feel like it's just been not going on for three years. All right, may the odds be ever in my favor here. Place the front side of the object up on a flat surface. Okay, I'm gonna do them individually. So I, I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the one first that is like not very good. Let's be smart about this. This one, you can't see his face very well, but you can see it. He's so cute. This one is the better recent one. Okay. Okay. All right. They both just looked really, really squished. Like, really. I think the previous ones were better. This doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Does this make sense to you guys? Oh, I'm going to YouTube it. Thank God for YouTube. Riding bear corpse in Central Park. How to use self-sealing laminating sheets okay that was funny <laughs> rotting bear corpse in central park i did see something about that someone left it there or something i don't know Two minutes later. Uh, shout out. 
out to these people posting tutorials of this on YouTube because this is nothing like the directions. And I'm reading all the comments and everyone is like, I did not understand their indirections. Oh, okay. So it's not just her. I needed this video. Like, okay. You have to use two of them, which makes so much sense. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I just watched him do it. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, that's actually like very upsetting. These directions are horrible. Okay, so here's what I gather. Okay, so this is- okay, I've definitely had stuff with fucking horrible directions before. Sticky now right here. So I peeled off the top part, okay? So this is sticky. Put the top of what we want to get laminated there so it's stuck onto that part, okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing with another one because obviously it has to get laminated on both sides. So we're gonna put this right on top of that one. So now <clears throat> we have like two sheets stuck together with the photo in the middle, okay? And now I'm gonna take off the back one first. This literally is just like huge pieces of thick tape. <laughs> I think we could all just be using- Can't she um, cut it to size a bit more? Cause now she's gonna be wasting a lot of it. Some packing tape here, people. Okay, um, and then he did also say to take off the bottom one because it will stick. This will stick to that, okay. Oh God, this is terrifying. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This is why we're doing the worst picture first. We can mess it up and it will be fine, okay? So that's basically Daisy Fix, which you get on a roll. You just use two pieces of it. This is horrifying. You made this look very simple. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> He did his so much smoother. And as you like place it down, try to get out the air bubbles. It's not flat on the bottom though. I think I messed this one up. Okay, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Oh, I'm panicking. Actually, it's not horrible. <laughs> it's, not, it's not good. But like for my first attempt, it's, it's, it's not the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, I think I know where I went wrong. He- Whoa, it looks so bad. He, I think he's more seasoned than I am. So I'm gonna have to like take that bottom one off after I get the top a little bit more this is why I said, why don't you make a copy and taste it first? A little bit more snazzy here. It's not great, but you can still see the picture and it's gonna be better soon. <laughs> All right, stand by while I watch that video three more times and we attempt to do this again. Okay, I'm back. I think I figured it out. Wish me luck. I'm gonna remove that. These are very recent. I can go get more of these, but these I don't wanna mess up because they are the first ones. They're really old. Um, so put this down here. I'm feeling very confident about this one. <laughs> Not hopefully too confident. Okay, place this one over the top again. Yep, 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 okay. We're not gonna do both first. That is not good. I have the video here. All right, I'm following his video directly. He just took off this back piece first. Oh my God, it's like the picture just flops up. His does not do that. No, no. Okay, I think it's the texture of the sonogram. It's like a very floppy. And now I'm slowly rolling the back okay yep slowly rolling the back this is the worst thing i've ever done because now it's stuck oh my god wow that is such a big fail <laughs> wow that is actually quite impressive how much of a fail that is i don't know where to go from here now it's stuck to this page mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, all right. She's really annoyed now. How does he... No, no. All right, I'm gonna cut it out. Get this other piece off. How would you though? Okay, I'm tapping out of this. Nope. The great news is my sonogram didn't get ruined. <laughs> Thank God. And this... How is she so bad at this? Like really, how is she so bad? At stuff like this. This is why we don't do crafting with Alex. This is why we don't do it. Okay, so thankfully it's just laminated on this side and this side did not get ruined. Um, no way. I'm not risking that again. Okay, just thank God these did not get ruined. Just thank God. That would have broken my heart. The Armin's like, just take them to Staples. I'm like, no babe, I want to DIY. That's my toxic trait, is just like wanting to DIY things because I think it makes it more special. No, no, nay, nay. The three good ones are fine. Okay, we tried you guys. It's all about trying many hours later so i got something in the mail for our... I'm, I'm always scared when you do things like this <laughs> he doesn't know what it is and you laugh like that i know he thinks it's a nervous laugh it partially is so i ordered something for our sweet son's nursery 
<laughs> Keep laughing. The package looks a bit distraught. Oh yeah, it um, looks like I've been through a lot of uh, checks and portals and I think, gates and. I think it has. Um, but I ordered a custom. Okay, so you know what a mobile is? No. Um, it's the thing that goes above the crib that the baby looks at and falls asleep. You know, uh -huh. a little floating yeah. toy thing. I ordered a custom one of Bruno, <laughs> handmade. So it looks like Bruno. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought you like, I don't know, got like hair clippings or something and like, <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, after Bruno got groomed, I took his hair shavings, but I don't know, it's handmade. Okay. I did not, you could pay to like see the preview of it. I said, nay, nay, no, no, surprise me. Is this your first time seeing it? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. That is cool. Oh, it's that is so cool. cute. I like that. Oh, <laughs> that, that is really cute. And it does look like Bruno. That it looks so like cool. wow. That's awesome. Did you say it's handmade? Yeah. That is and so I, cool. And I, I sent in like a bunch of pictures of him. That is so It does cool. look like him wow. with his coloring and everything. <gasps> look at even the white on his chest, the white paw. Come on, let's compare. Oh my God. Oh, Woody, daddy gonna pick her up. Look at it, look at it. <laughs> It looks like you. It's just like him. They did perfect with his colors. That is so cool. Wow. Handsome is you. They even got his brown on. Oh my god. And look at the eyebrows. They, they even gave him his eyebrows. Oh, that's so cool. He has little white eyebrows like this. Wow. That is really cute. Well done. Oh, that's fresh. That's so cool. I hope she linked this person, made it. Would you know, she did not. Why would you not link that? Why? Because she can't earn anything from it. Hmm. Right? All right, I gotta untangle wow. this. Let me see. Did you get this on like Etsy or something? Um, no, I got it from a random website called like My Dollfy or something. I got an ad for it on Instagram. Do they do other? Yeah, they do like a bunch of like homemade crocheted oh, toys and stuff. Okay. I need to. Okay, okay you, could, you could still link it so people can actually find it. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> what the, how the, how did this happen? <laughs> Be careful. But then I just took it out normal, but it's got like clouds. Of course she can't untangle it. Star and a moon. It's so cute. It looks really good. Is it supposed really to be tied up like this? Uh, I don't no, think right? so. I don't think so. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out and come back. Yeah. All right, it was a little bit of a struggle to detangle, but we got it. I'm not gonna let it tangle again, so I have it like hanging up here. But look how cute. That's you, Bubba. It's so sweet. I absolutely love. It's you. When you're, well, you just got groomed, so when your hair's a little longer, it looks like you. And when your hair's not all blown out and fluffy and straight, this is exactly what he normally looks like. All right, you guys, I am about to whip up some homemade protein balls, but I'm going to try a new recipe. I've been really loving these for breakfast because a lot of the time I will just grab one of my breakfast kind bars, the protein ones, but these are a great like homemade option. And I wanted to try like a new recipe. So this one is s'mores. The Stupid tattoo. Recipe is from two peas. What is it again? It's something like things work out or what? It's something stupid that she shares with her dad, which is like super ironic. And their pod.com. So it calls for rolled oats, crushed graham crackers, chia seeds, sea salt, peanut butter, honey, vanilla extract, mini chocolate chips, and mini marshmallows. So I'm super excited to make these and try them and see how they are. It's like super easy. It's just about what you put in them and you can make them to your heart's desire. Okay. Protein balls with mini marshmallows. Okay. Starting off with rolled oats. I'm just using the rolled oats from Chorita Joe's. Okay. And I also do need to finally crush some glam, some glam crackers. They're glamorous. So I need a third of a cup. So we'll see, we'll see how many we need for that. These are so good. Just Okay. The Annie's cinnamon. I feel like I'm gonna need like a lot of graham crackers to get a third of a cup, but maybe not. So I'll just start with one pack first. This is the fun part. Take out the aggression on the lamination paper. Okay, actually that made way more than I thought. <laughs> Isn't that just how it goes? Okay, a third of a cup of these. I have a little left. I'm just gonna put it in because I have no other purpose. For yeah, okay. So maybe the way to dry ratio is now off because you put in too much or too little. Who knows? 
brushed clam crackers. Uh, two tablespoons of chia seeds. One and two. A pinch of sea salt. Got that. I like chia seeds. You know, like in overnight oats, in muesli. Great. Right here, just a pinch. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do like the hard stuff first. Oh, I forgot the vanilla extract. Stand by. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so a fun fact I saw with the peanut butter, when you have to like measure it out, spray it first with cooking spray, and then it just falls right out of your measuring cup. Such a genius hack, I've never done it, so let's see. But you can do it for like honey, peanut butter. Okay, so I need a half a cup. Do a little spray there. Let me know. Okay, that sounds like a useful tip. I hope you guys have heard of this hack before because I feel like it is so smart. This peanut butter is firm because we keep it in the fridge. All right, we got our half a cup. And yeah, it like doesn't leave residue in there. So smart. And I just got a new big thing of Okay, I'm definitely gonna do that because I use a lot of honey in making my own muesli and my own stuff. Not peanut butter so much because um, it's fat. It's just fat, it's not really protein, but I do use honey often. Not a lot of honey, obviously, but like often. Honey, this is just the light amber forest mountain honey. It doesn't have like a strong flavor because I honestly don't love the taste of honey, but you really can't taste it in these kinds of things. A quarter cup of honey. Oh, I forgot to spray it again. I think now yeah, it's, it's over. <laughs> it's only a one time use for uh, the spray, but that's all right. At least we already did. The oh, this is a different. Oh my God. The pregnancy brain. This is a different measuring cup, guys. <sighs> That's why it didn't work. So a quarter cup of um, chocolate chips. I only have probably two tablespoons, <laughs> but it will work. And then about a quarter cup of mini marshmallows. Honestly. Sorry, but that's candy. She's making candy. This is going to be so freaking good. I'm going to wait like a few minutes for that peanut butter to thaw <laughs> because right now it is super hard from the fridge. <laughs> I'm gonna take a guess and say these are energy clusters or high energy balls and not protein balls. All right, you guys, it is seven o'clock. Protein balls are in the fridge firming up. Um, we haven't had dinner yet, but I was gonna try one after dinner for like a little sweet treat. It's a cloudy day, so it's actually- For all that energy you need before you go to sleep. Yeah like almost dark out now. I will say it is not, not staying light out as long as it was a month ago, which is obviously to be expected, but I don't know, I can feel fall coming and I'm both. Yeah, I can definitely see the seasons turning because it's a lot lighter in the morning now than it was in the winter when I get up. And of course it's getting warm in the afternoon, like really, really, you know, you don't even need a jersey warm. Sad and excited about it, but I'm going to do my skincare and then we're going to have leftovers for dinner tonight. Last night we watched House of the Dragon, the finale. By the time this vlog goes up, it should have been out for at least a week, but I will say, spoiler alert. Also, I think this was giving me a couple little breakouts, so I'm pausing on using this right now. And just going back to moisturizer, I used it for, I want to say like two weeks and I got like a couple little breakouts. So I'm kind of like testing the waters. I think my skin is just liking um, cleanser and moisturizer right now. So I will do what I have to do. Um, it wasn't horrible. Like it didn't make my whole face break out, but a few little ones and I'm like, hmm. That's like the skin update. Cause I remember I was gonna update you guys on adding in the toner and the niacinamide, but I'm gonna pause. I used, I used a decent amount for a couple weeks. So I'm kind of curious. I will say like my skin cleared up not using it. My skin is just finicky, guys. It really is. All right. It feels so good to just have my PJs on and go heat up dinner. <laughs> Third trimester life is very chill and simple <laughs> and very relaxed. Okay, we had dinner. About to try one of our s'mores protein bites. She looks massive. Like really, <laughs> really massive. Let's give it a taste for dessert, shall we? Ooh, that is so good. It's real good. good. There's crushed up uh, graham crackers. Is that marshmallows in it? Yeah, 10 out of 10. Yeah. These might be some of the best um, protein bites I've ever had. Is that a pinch of salt? Pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that you knew. <laughs> All right, you guys, popping on to wrap up this vlog. Um, we loved those s'mores protein energy balls. Definitely going to be enjoying those also for breakfast sometimes, too. Are those grapes good? They're really good, right? We're a, we've become a great family. Literally, always... 
I keep a big bowl of washed grapes just in the fridge so we can just grab like a bunch of them off and pick at them. Yara has always been a big fruit guy, but how, how does that make you a great family? Like, doesn't a lot of people do that? I know grapes are quite expensive though, but that's such a random thing. Like, my pregnancy has brought me to this level and it's been very fun for us. You love it. <laughs> He's looking at me like, yes. There he is with his banana and his grapes. <laughs> and the baby seat installation. And baby seat. Oh, yeah. someone installed the baby car seat today. Yeah, I, I forgot to tell them. Wow, that's a super flat. Oh, it's probably a tablet. Oh, we should have showed them. It was super easy. It was so. Of course, it's white. So easy. So tell them how that went. <laughs> Good. It took two seconds. It was very no, simple. No, it's super cool because like everything has stickers in it. Okay. Right? And everything is like bright and colorful. So like when you attach it to the anchors in the rear seat um, and you like push it down, it the thing turns from red to green, letting you know that it's installed correctly. Oh. And it has a oh. level on the side to make sure that the base is leveled. Because if it's not, if you see red, that's not good. Okay. But if it's all green, it's good to go. That's pretty cool. That makes it a lot easier to install. So, I don't know, just everything was like super easy. So they did a great job. Up a baby is Love that. good stuff. Yeah, it's actually, it was really fun. We like tested it and I sat in the back seat behind, uh, behind the driver's side. We put it on the passenger's back seat um, because in the Tesla you can't do it in the middle seat. Um, but it was nice to sit back there and we brought Bruno in with us just to kind of let him sniff it. We test everything out. We test everything out. We, our seat position. Yeah, your seat position because his seat, he drives most of the time, even in my car. So that's why we put it on the passenger seat side because it needed more space. But it'll be good because then even if I'm alone in the car, I can look back across the back seats. Yeah, that sounds practical. Easily as well. So good job. It looked really good. So <laughs> I can't believe it's in there. You might be seeing a car seat. Oh yeah, if you see a car seat <laughs> and, and a car vlogs, yeah. that's why. Also, I got in the um, crib cover. Guys, look at that color. I think it's going to be perfect in the nursery with um, the accent pillow I have in the chair and with the ducks, actually, I have to, I have to go check with the vlog before I end this. I'll be right back, babe. <laughs> so sure this is the perfect color. And I th Does it really matter that much? I think I just got lucky because I don't think I really even thought it would be. All right, up we go. Oh, the pregnant lady on the stairs. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure she struggled to go up them before she got pregnant. Can she do it? Yes, she can. All right, let's see. I'm very hopeful. Okay. Moment of don't truth. Don't <gasps> Babe! <gasps> Amazing! Come look at this! Ooh. I didn't even plan this! Yay! <laughs> I matched the color of the crib mattress perfectly so cool. to the pillow. Look at this. This is my second fruit snack, by the way. <laughs> what? Look at that! Oh! I didn't even plan that. What's that for again? <laughs> This is the crib cover for the mattress. Crib cover for the mattress. Like a oh, sheet. Okay, I got it, I got it. That's the it. word, sheet. Yep. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. Oh. It's in the same color as the bird feathers. Yes. You show them the crib. Oh, well, that's. Yeah, the nursery tour. Behind, yeah. Right? Okay. This is um, after the nursery tour. Oh, that is thrilling. That is like the highlight of Good my job. life. <laughs> Baby on the way. I'm delirious. <laughs> Alright, you guys, that's the end of this vlog. It's like 10 o'clock. Ending on a high note. Very excited about that, but we love you. Bye. Okay, riveting. Let's see the next one. Good morning. Do we need to see you <laughs> filling up your water bottle, really? Is this what goes for content nowadays? Ice as well? You are treating us. Have you ever seen a massive woman pouring in water? That was amazing. Time for the milkshake. Gotta keep that physique up. That stupid circle. Oh my god, that thing is cranking. For a piece of bread? We have an air purifier that is like so extra. <laughs> Anytime that we cook and don't put on the hood fan, it like 
I mean, it's good. It's like definitely purifying the air, but it's, can you guys hear it? Yeah, mine's also pretty loud. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, good morning from me and my Avi toast. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I thought I would vlog today because we've got just like a bunch of random little errands to do, things to do, places to go, people to see, so. Oh, wow, that is so interesting. This woman will not be able to do a nine to five job, I swear. If you can see over there, right there, right there, um, I did get that same clear storage drawer organizer that I was originally going to get at Target but put back. Um, so I really want to get the nursery closet organized because it is not. The exterior is done. You guys have seen the nursery reveal. I'm so glad you love it. But it's definitely time to work on that closet. So I don't know. I don't know if we're going to need another one of those. Um, I'm hoping not. <laughs> I do have a lot of like big baskets that we can store things in, so we can do that as well. What does it matter if you need another one? You go to Target like daily. I don't mind my hair. I just threw it up in like a... I haven't done anything really yet today, so... Um, I need to stop at the ATM and get cash because tonight we are celebrating one of our friends' 40th birthdays and doing like hibachi um, like at someone's house in their backyard, so it's gonna be super fun. I have to get cash for that. And I'm also in charge of um, balloons, so I want to go get like the big four O's and special balloons. I have other like tasks I want to get started. I really want to get started with um, the hospital bag, especially now that I am 33 weeks. So I really want to get started on that, but I might save that for a whole separate vlog. I'm still kind of in the midst of like research on that. So yeah, let me know. Actually, that'll probably be coming up in a different vlog. So please comment and let me know what was like the essential in your hospital bag. I mean, I'm, from what I'm seeing, it's a lot of the same lists over and over and some are a little bit more like extra they have more things for comfort just extra items in general and then some i see are more minimal and simple and they're like you don't have to bring so much judging from what she takes for a weekend away she's gonna have a huge hospital bag much the hospital will provide you with so much so i'm like okay i feel like i'm gonna teeter somewhere in the middle between like packing extra and packing light but <laughs> i don't know i've seen some people do a whole carry-on size suitcase and then some people just do kind of like a duffel bag um, I do know I want to bring my own pillow, like that is like the biggest thing I've seen, like, especially for hubby, like you, they want to bring their own pillow and stuff, because it can get very uncomfy, so I don't know, <laughs> it's a little overwhelming, we'll figure it out, won't we? So, we need my breakfast and then get ready for the day. Also, you guys, I am- We will eat my breakfast, no, we're not eating, we're unfortunately seeing you eat while you talk. Thrilled out of my mind that I'm giving birth right about before- what am I saying? Right about before? Right at Witch's Brew season. <laughs> um, I got the, the set in the mail. The Witch's Brew is the best flavor of Lani. I obviously had not had any energy drinks throughout my pregnancy. I cannot wait to crack this open after baby. No? Thank you for checking. If you guys haven't had I think when you're breastfeeding, you should also not drink that. But I might be wrong. This flavor, I think it sounds weird. It's caramel apple, caramel, caramel. I, I go back and forth. But it is. Also, why does she need energy drinks? Like, she naps all the time. It's the best Alani flavor. I don't know if you can hear that, but our washing machine is jumping up and down again. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. It was fine, and now all of a sudden it's like bum 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 Flavor. And it just makes me think of fall, so I fantasize about these. <laughs> And I'm so excited, like the best timing. Actually, I should put these in the fridge so they can crisp up and marinate for next month. Okay, so I know I'm not the only person. What? I don't do that. Person who thinks this way, but like having plans tonight, I like <laughs> don't know what to do with my face now. I also will say the last couple days were like in the low 70s and not as humid. And it was so nice. It made me feel like that little sprinkle of fall coming back in the air. <laughs> And now today it's like 85 and super humid and I don't want to be uncomfy. I really don't. So I don't even think I'm going to do like real makeup tonight. Um, I, I just don't think I'm going to. I just don't think I have it in me to just be sweating it off. And I will say third trimester, um, a little hot flashy, a little, a little hot flashy indeed. Um, it's new. It's different. The only things I've really started to notice over the last um, like two weeks and of course i had um, a checkup with my doctor yesterday the day before 
I don't know, I wasn't vlogging, but I asked her, I was like, she was asking me new symptoms. I'm like, I'm kind of having hot flashes, my back hurts, feel a little more irritable. And she's like, oh, very normal. <laughs> like sometimes it's mostly just after I like do the most cause I really can't help myself. <laughs> like I get uh, caught up in like housework or cleaning or um, just like doing little little house projects. I don't know, moving around a lot. That's when like I get a little lower back pain. Um, sleeping, y'all, sleeping is getting simply annoying. Like I don't look forward to going to bed. I really don't. Um, Cause I know I'm gonna be up every couple hours going to the bathroom. Um, I'm getting real over the like rotisserie chicken all night. I'm going to the left, going to the right. I miss sleeping on my back, my belly. <laughs> um, and then getting hot. I don't know. I just, I don't mean to complain. I'm just sharing my, my updates here um, of symptoms. But yeah, that's really about it. Like I'd say it's just a very small like fraction of the day where I'm not feeling people have been saying she isn't sharing any pregnancy symptoms so maybe that's why she's talking about it now my best so that's good i still have a lot of really good moments i'm still able to like do a lot of my normal um activities so like napping i mean she doesn't really have many activities can't complain really honestly um but also since it is so hot i've been wearing my hair in a messy bun the last few days which is why it looks like this and you know what? it's going back up today i actually will say i noticed a few comments recently saying that my messy buns have been on point so i did do a very like quick tutorial in a vlog but it wasn't in the title so i'll put it in the title yeah and it didn't look good in that vlog it really looked bad this one so nobody misses it and i'm gonna do a high messy bun the last time i think i did like a low parted middle one middle parted one so let me show you guys my current messy bun routine also who who looks at this woman and thinks i want to look like her most of the time she just looks unkempt because i do have like a different way i've been doing it so first i'm just putting it up to my desired placement i like mine if i'm gonna do a high i'd like to do it like pretty high up wrap around to your heart's desire oh i'm not even in the frame and then you just do that little i mean look at that now little folded bun where the rest is all kind of sticking out right then i take the hair that's out split it in half so we've got these two chunks and because i have layers now i twist them just to give it a little more like stability and then i just wrap them around the bun grab another hair tie and then i just grab it all together and wrap that one around and that's how i do it and then i might play with it sometimes it comes out perfect right away but sometimes it does not like i'm going to take these pieces right here and tuck them into the hair tie and yeah i know that does not look good it's so fun it's like this almost knotted looking messy bun that's that it's and what about that and whatever that is so simple so easy and then i'm going to take some bobby pins because <laughs> hello and i just pin up those hairs in the back all those baby hairs and i'll probably give it a little and that a little hairspray as well back there so that is the messy bun tutorial all right now for my face i'm gonna keep it and this, she's got this line where the person put the blonde it looks so bad like really so simple as we it doesn't even look better than before she went to get it colored you know i get some redness on my face this is my fave lately actually i've loved it for the last few years but i'm back on it the rescue bomb the red correct from hero if i don't want to bother with my like tinted spf i only use this instead it's one or the other really but you just slowly kind of work it on your face i'm telling you it covers all the redness it's kind of miraculous and it just feels like you're putting on a little more moisturizer wow it does look like it's working it really looks like it works like it's really a miracle cream the power of color correction is wild and a little bit of excess i'll like do on my forehead oh i just oh i didn't realize i had some on my other finger but yeah i love this stuff if you have um redness or rosacea or anything like that and you don't feel like doing full makeup it like neutralizes the redness so well like so much better i'll put a link to this it is so freaking good and i know i'm not the only one with red problems going in with my usual nyx thicket stick it brow gel bruno hears the garage door and he's like what the hell is going on who's there and then lastly i have only been using the brown tubing mascara the tartlet one that we got like i literally still have the black one in the box like i really like the dark brown it's so subtle like that is dark brown versus black um and it's not like i've been doing any like real full glam looks so like the dark brown has been so good 
love this mascara. So I'm just gonna throw that mascara on and a little chapstick or lip gloss and then we are good to go. Okay, so wait, I just put on my mascara and now I'm like, my face looks kind of flat. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little bit of the milk. I can't help myself, you guys. The milk jelly tint and chill. And I know it's funny, like, girl, we just neutralized redness and you're putting more on, but it's different. <laughs> it's well, yeah. It is different. It's a different kind of redness. <laughs> Please tell me someone gets it. It is kind of- I think people get it. Funny, you know, I know. It's different, right? Oh, side note, I also want to show you guys. I put the first ultrasound of- Okay, that is actually cute. To put that little ultrasound little baby bean. <laughs> or, like, I don't know how big it is there, but it's like, that is actually a cute idea. Yeah baby that we got in here when he was so little so i don't know i thought that was like super cute to show him one day like look how small you were okay time to start our errands first i have some light bulbs i need to return from lowe's because we got the wrong kind so gonna run in and return these first okay i can't wait for this excitement i have something in my eye it's messing with my contact. No, I just keep like blinking profusely, looking a little unstable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I know you guys told me they have the um, number balloons at Dollar Tree, but I want to look at the other like 40th birthday stuff here as well. Oh no, it's in my bun. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Are you ready to be a big brother? That's a yeah. Oh, he also looks really cute like this with his hair all blown out and straight. Looks so cute. He looks so soft. Yes, isn't it? That's a yes, isn't it? You're gonna be the best big brother in the whole world. Yeah, you're ready for it. That is by far one of the things I am most excited to see is Bruno as a big brother. <laughs> That's gonna be the most magical moment when they meet. It might be horrible, actually. <laughs> I, I don't think it will be, though, just because Bruno has met other family babies and did a really good job. So I am hopeful. <laughs> hopeful. Yeah, if he was good with other babies, it ought to be fine. Hopeful that it goes well. But yeah, I ran my errands. I took a few clips. I also had to go to the bank and stuff. Um, but I'm back home. It's already one o'clock. I have been taking my mornings extremely slow, just being tired lately. Um, so I'm very grateful and fortunate that I can take mornings slow, but it makes the day goes by really, really fast. So I want to start working on his closet a little more now. And I also need to wash the mattress cover. I want to wash all of the um, pieces of the mattress that we got as well, because like it can come apart and get washed. And then I'm probably, <laughs> this is so real, this is too real. I'm probably gonna wanna like take a little rest before we go. It's around like 6, 6.30, we have to leave. So <laughs> I know it's silly, but I know the closet's gonna take some, take some life out of me. So, all right, I refilled my water. Oh, I'm disappointed you didn't show it. Yes, you're excited. So let's, let's get started. I also just realized I have this weird, stain oh, this is water here but like some weird stain there so want to get everything sorted away i've had this in here just for the aesthetics <laughs> but um yeah i want to i would just love to have everything washed and done so i love love oh, this mattress is so cool i've shared it before but i've never showed you the inside i want to so, i really want to see that inside oh it looks like a loofah the inside here like this wired mesh and it is fully breathable if your baby turns face down i thought it was gonna have like holes in it because some baby pillows have holes they, they kind of look like swiss cheese holes i thought that was what's what it's gonna look like somehow because the older they get they might start to roll and if they end up face down they can breathe um so that was a huge selling point for this mattress and also a lot of the baby mattresses we saw were like around $100 and this one was $200 I know it's like a little bit more with double but it just felt like so worth it for that like peace of mind so oh yeah <laughs> yeah definitely I think the money 
is worth the peace of mind in that case. So funny. Can you guys like see that texture is so funky? It looks like it literally looks like a like this loofah sponge thing. That thing they grow. It's like a plant. Something out of SpongeBob. All right. <laughs> And now I'm going to wash this. And then, I don't know if you saw in the last vlog, I got this sheet cover for the mattress. Oh yeah, it was very exciting because it matches some colors in the room. Because they recommend doing a muslin one with it because it is super soft and also breathable. But look at this cover. If you didn't see the last vlog, like I said, I got so lucky. I ordered, I think it's called clay and the color of it. Oh, wow, this is already so soft and it hasn't even been washed. <gasps> Ooh, it matches my accent pillow literally perfectly and it matches the little stripies on our geese um, it matches the checkers on um, the bookshelf it matches everything got very lucky with this oh and i also got more drawer organizers for the dresser oh my oh i see it's like a fitted sheet looks like oh my gosh the closet is starting to feel like a distant dream <laughs> Because I'd rather do other things. I'm determined to at least get it started. Okay, I also got more drawer organizers. Got them in the wash. I read the directions for the sheet cover, the crib mattress cover. <laughs> and you have to wash it by itself, zip in cold water. So doing that one first. So I just got these drawer organizers on Amazon. They're like the ones that I already showed for the other drawers. <sighs> because I only have three drawers like really organized. And then I have three other drawers that are just full of stuff. So, I love these drawer organizers. I will link them. They're so easy breezy. I also realized I need to get a trash bin in here because we have the diaper genie, but I'm finding that like a lot of moments I am like, I need a trash bin because I just have like a lot of miscellaneous stuff to throw away. So down here, I just have um, a couple of nighttime halo swaddles. I mean, this is so cute. Look at this from Caden Lane. This was gifted a while back. So it's this like long nighty that you tie at the bottom and it came with a matching little cap little nightcap little oh my gosh like that is so oh, that is gonna be so dang cute yeah that that will look cute and then i already washed this it is just a big muslin blanket slash swaddle and i need to plug this in and i also have like a bunch of stuff i'm gonna wash all of this um but like pacifiers I already put on these are from itsy ritzy and then i love this this is also from itsy ritzy it's a double-sided pacifier holder and you can put the dirty one on one side and the clean on the other so i love that got nipple crack and then also super recommended these diaper rash cream applicators and then they just I can't show you here but they just silicone suction cup onto the surface Oh, I remember in the video where she showed that someone commented that they actually saw someone using the spatula to put the cream on the baby's butt. Because <laughs> I thought it was just to scoop it out of the, the container, which makes sense to me. And then you like put it on with your hand. But someone actually saw that people use <laughs> the spatula to put the cream on, which must look hilarious. Surface, we've got teethers, more pacifiers, and this cute little case also from Itsy Ritzy. So I want to organize those. So let's just take everything out first and see. I got um, a different size packet this time. So there's like a bigger section here and they literally just unfold like this. And they're great for like traveling too. And they just, so that way they're super easy to like collapse. So we've got those big ones. We've got these little square ones another big one and then i like these ones as well these are like the perfect skinny length to go with the big one then you can kind of shove a few things in the sides here okay so i just put sleep swaddles and stuff in here pacifiers and stuff in here and then i have all this excess which i'm thinking i'll use when i clean out the closet and then we have one extra here which i could potentially use to organize in here and right, i brought in a chair <laughs> A comfortable ergonomic chair so as you have seen it's just full of stuff um yar is going to set up the camera we've got extra extra geese gotta keep gotta keep the extra geese you never know live laugh love the geese silly goose energy it's a lot of random stuff like we've got like an extra shelf are we gonna use it i don't know but i want to like put in the organizer you know stuff like this for you know things we're not using yet but we'll be using like we've got the thermometer we've got the brush like we've got just like a lot of stuff and then got the ergo baby hopefully this is easy to put on fingers crossed <laughs> should try that on at some point make sure i'm prepared so I, I do love the idea of having him just strapped on my chest doing stuff yeah like there's just 
more pacifiers. We just we just got lots. Oh, little sockies. I forgot about these. These are so cute. I got like multiple wire. Like what? Like what is this? <laughs> this closet has like low key just become like a catch-all drawer over the last two years living here. This will be fun. The teething bibs. Yeah, we just <laughs> we gotta get organized, people. <laughs> I know a lot of people were saying, how is she sitting like that when she's, what, almost nine months pregnant? Her leg literally looks like a baby's leg, you know, with those rolls. All right, you guys, I'm thrilled to report that the closet is... Yeah, that looks good. Done! Oh my gosh, that was a labor of love, but I feel so relieved that it's all set. So, um, I kept, I've had these baskets for a while now, a couple years, I think. They're from at home. Um, and then I have a small one there. So over there I have the artwork I didn't use and the extra little geese for that. Then back there is just a little, um, water mat that my sister-in-law gave me. In here I have mine and Yar's carriers. Hand and footprint kit. And then the hat Lily got me that says in my mom era. This one's actually empty over here, so <laughs> that's awesome. Maybe Oh, I haven't seen that car before. It's cute. I don't know if it's from Cars the movie because I haven't seen it. The eyes just look similar. We'll put extra toys in there, whatever. And then over here, I did end up using this. Kept these on top to remember that we're going to use them. In here, I have like just a bunch of excess stuff I don't need yet, like I said. Um, and extra bottles in case the ones we got don't work. These came in like baby kits and stuff, like freebies. And then in here, extra wipes and then in here just random extras and then i kept the diapers um up top here these are all ones the newborns are in the drawers we have a set of two and three um from baby shower breast pump nursing pillow dock tot which will not be for sleep only supervised awake time and then down there is um a play mat for tummy time back time all that but i'm gonna set that up when he's a little older so yeah. ta-da oh my gosh oh so relieved feels amazing many hours later all right guys many hours later i just took a nap <laughs> looks like a cute top i like ruffles and details like that um no regrets on the nap um because i'm feeling much much rejuvenated that's not it but i'm gonna have to redo my bun we gotta leave in about 10 minutes i'm not gonna be doing more makeup <laughs> i thought i might consider it but really no need it's still like really really humid and i don't want to sweat also like none of my pants fit besides like yoga pants and stuff like that so i throw on this dress that i wore on our baby moon i think it's from nordstrom nordstrom rack and i might swap out my necklace for a different one i've never had hibachi like at someone's house it's like such a cool f i have no idea what hibachi is Oh, it's kind of like fondue. You like make your own food. You cook your own food. Okay. Or to be fun. Fun concept. So I'll see if I can get some clips and show you guys. All right, now I'll swip a All right, pretty good bun. I'm gonna guess she's not gonna get any clips. Pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna leave these like little messy pieces down. Pin up these back pieces again. Also, I was watching back the footage <laughs> and I, I got like blonde bobby pins because I thought it like matched my hair. I forgot the underneath of my hair is brown. <laughs> so it's just like the most obvious color bobby pin against my brown hair <laughs> in the back. Maybe I'll do more redness corrector because I am a little bit red here again. I think I like sweat all of it off earlier. And then like a little more mascara. All right, let's go. <laughs> Oh, there's a guy doing it for you. Okay. I've, I've seen this before. I didn't know what you call it. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing that's not part of the traditional hibachi thing. <laughs> So someone on, I think it was Reddit, figured out 
or looked at the calories for those protein balls, which I said was more like energy balls. So it's called S'mores Energy Bites Recipe. It's nothing about protein. It's only got 4.5 grams. That's 10% protein, which isn't that much. Taken from the website, she referenced and put into my fitness pal for a breakdown of calories and macros. Only 4.5 grams of protein and 10 grams of sugar per serving. Her inability to understand nutrition is crazy. An easy rule of thumb I follow is that if something has a good amount of protein, you drop the last number from the calories and it should come close to the grams of protein. Like 150 calories and 15 grams of protein is considered high protein. 4.6 gram for 160 calories is a joke. Now that is a pretty good rule of thumb. Even the recipe is called energy bites, not protein balls, because that's exactly what they are. I am going to look at the Halloween one in a separate video, because this is already very long. And I, I'm a spooky bitch, right? Okay, so I like Halloween stuff. <laughs> so I'm actually looking forward to see what she has. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, all of that. And I will see you next time. Bye.